OK, so in each of these cases, we've got a, uh, a fraction uh, of expressions in the numerator denominator. And we want to integrate each of these by reversing the chain rule. OK, so what we're looking for is, is the numerator a multiple of the derivative of the denominator? That's what we're looking for. So in each case, we're going to look at the denominator. So in the number one, we've got the 4x cubed minus 5. And if I differentiate that, I get uh, 12x squared. Now in the numerator here, I've got x squared. So I've got 1 12th of what I need. And so this would be 1 12th log of 4x cubed minus 5 plus c. OK, so here we're putting modular signs around the logarithm because uh, we want to make sure that if we were to use it, it as a definite integral, that any value that I plug in will be positive, OK, because I can't take log of a negative number. So this differentiates to that, OK? So number two, OK, so just looking at the denominator, 5x squared plus 6x plus 7. So differentiate that, and we get 10x plus 6. Now I've got 15x plus 9, OK? Now it might not look immediately obvious as to what the multiple there would be, OK? But if we just think about how do we get from 15x to 10x, I divide it, um, divide it by uh, 3 and times by 2, OK? So I times 15 by 2 thirds to get to 10, and I can times 9 by 2 thirds to get to 6, OK? So I've actually got 3 halves too many of what I need. So I've got 3 halves log of 5x squared plus 6x plus 7 plus c, because that, that log there will differentiate to 10x plus 6 over 5x squared plus 6x plus 7. And so I would need to multiply it by 3 halves to get to the 15x plus 9. Right, let's have a look at number 3. Cosine of 2x over sine of 2x. So if I look at sine of 2x and differentiate that, I get 2 cosine 2x. Now, in the numerator here, I've got cosine of 2x. So I've actually got a half of what I need. And so this would be 1 half log sine of 2x plus c. OK, so that's number three. Now, the last one, number four, uh, we've got something that looks absolutely horrific. OK, but what I'm trying to show you is it's the same concept. So if I just look at the denominator, the 3e to the 2x take 5e to the minus 3x plus cosine of x. So differentiating that is 6e to the 2x plus 15e to the minus 3x minus sine x. So now if I compare that with what I've got, then actually I've got 8 lots of what I need. And so this is 8 lots of log of 3e to the 2x minus 5e to the minus 3x plus cosine of x plus c. OK, so something that looks absolutely terrible to integrate in this case is actually quite nice. OK, so that is how we can deal with the reciprocal functions turning into logarithms when we integrate.